Sports Podcast in the South, the best damn sports podcast, period. I'm your host, the sensational Centel Wideman, and as you can see, I am joined by my guest host, the Wizard of Westwood, the man he knows you does. I'm going to give him one anyway. Westwood, welcome back. Mm. Oh, man, what a great show we got today. today uh, got some lots to get into. Championship week is now set in college football. ACC, Pac-12, Big 12, Big 10, and SEC title games are all uh, set now. We'll talk more about those later and look forward to those games. But first, we're going to go backwards, <laughs> and we're going to look back to what happened on the weekend. But before we do all that, I have introduced my guest host, but let me ask him about his holiday weekend and week. Uh, how was your Thanksgiving? How was your weekend? Thanksgiving was good. The weekend was wonderful. I eat good, you know, uh, some things I can't talk about, but, you know. Yeah, yeah. It was good. Spanish show. <laughs> it, it was good. Uh, other than that, man, you know, everything was good. Uh, be blessed, be around family, good friends, good laughs, good time. You know, you can't you can't put a price on that. No, you cannot. <laughs> so, you know, no, you cannot. it was all good. How about yourself, man? Oh, wonderful, man. Anytime I can get around my family, um, I always tell them, man, y'all cherish these moments. Hey. Don't take them for granted. Cause you never know uh, if we all will be back here again next year. So always, always, always take advantage of this situation. So oh, I enjoy being around my family. Uh, some of the craziest, sickest people you will ever meet in your life. <laughs> yeah. uh, at the same time, they are good people, but they are sick at the same time. So it is what it is. Uh, welcome to the show, man. We got lots to get into, man. We're gonna give you our top six. CFP rankings in just a few minutes. We'll get more in-depth to the Miami and Pittsburgh game, more in-depth to the Auburn Bama game, more in-depth to Clemson and South Carolina. We'll talk NFL. We'll talk a little bit of college basketball. Plus your comments, phone calls. Also got a trivia question. Try to give away a gift card, $20 gift card to either. You can use it at Walmart or Sam's Club. $20 if you can come up with the sentence into a trivia question, which I'll give you the uh, – I'll give you the clue later. But right now, let's dive into what you people really want to know. Our top six, um, if we were on the committee. Um, but this will be our top six. This is we my should. top we six. Should. This is my top six. Um, at number six, I have Georgia. One lost team. Uh, looked really good against Georgia Tech. Uh, did exactly what I thought they would do to them. Um, so I have Georgia at six. Um, at five, I have Bama, who just fresh off a loss. At Auburn, so the, the two teams behind Auburn both got beat by Auburn handily. Uh, so I got Auburn at four. I think they're the most complete team by far playing the best football in the entire country. At three, I have Clemson. Resume speaks for itself. Uh, solid road wins. Uh, they look the part also. And at number two, I have Oklahoma, who has uh, the two best road wins, I think, of any team in this top six um, at Ohio State and at um and at uh, Oklahoma State, I'm sorry. Um, and at one, I got the Wisconsin Badgers, and I know everybody's going to jump off the damn couch and go Wisconsin at one. But, again, I respect teams that who are 12-0, and 0, uh, regardless of what the schedule is. Uh, it, do you realize how hard it is to go undefeated? It's mm -hmm. so hard. We have two teams out of 130 that are undefeated. We have two teams <laughs> out of 130 that are undefeated. So that is hard to do. So I have to give respect what respect to not say they're the best team, but they should be ranked as the best team. Um, that was my top six. How about you, sir? 
Uh, I'm gonna start off at number six. Uh, Georgia, one loss team. Um, the loss, the, the the you know the loss of uh to to Auburn really hurt them. I mean, a beat down from Auburn really hurt them. So, um, but convincing win against Georgia Tech, you know, keep them in, you know, in the, you know, in the conversation. In the conversation. Uh, number five, Bama. Oh man, bad loss from, to Auburn. Uh, Jalen Hurts, bad game. Just you know, the better team came to play. You know, Number four, I'm gonna go Wisconsin. Um, undefeated, true. Um, the strength of schedule not good at all, but I'm not too sold on them. Um, this Saturday would definitely tell you know if they are for real or not. If they beat. Ohio State, they should be number one the following week going into the playoffs. No, no ill fans or buts about it. Um, number three, I'm gonna pair Auburn, my favorite team going into championship weekend. Uh, Auburn is just the most complete team right now. Defense solid, offense clicking, quarterback is leading the ship. I mean, there's no hiding team right now that Auburn. Um, number two, Oklahoma. They, they, they they just been doing their thing the whole se- this whole season. Baker Mayfield, Heisman, don't even argue about it. <laughs> yeah, it's, 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 he's giving the trophy. It's, it is what it is. Um, and number one, I'm going to go with the Clemson Tigers. Um, another one lost team. This uh, strict the schedule and the wins of, you know, top teams and, you know, top 25 teams and this year, Virginia Tech. Uh, at the time. Georgia, State at the time. Right. Atlanta, uh, Auburn, Auburn, you Auburn, know, Auburn, they, they have been, they have went out there and beaten quality teams out there. So, you know, hands down, me personally, Clemson number one. To be honest with you, I scared, everything's pretty much the same. Every, the top six. All 16 of the same <laughs> six. And it's going to play itself out. Yeah. Um, Regardless of what certain circumstances, Bama could get in. Um, but if every, if, but if the top four teams go and handle their business like they're supposed to this week, they're all four being the playoffs. That's your playoffs. Uh, and that'll be your playoffs. And I'll be, and I'll be, your, I'll be about that. I would love a Wisconsin Army matchup in Oklahoma Clemson. I'm sure Clemson fans, I'm sure Clemson fans will enjoy playing Oklahoma again because <laughs> they've had success recently. Oh, against yeah. Oklahoma. So oh, yeah. uh, those are my all six teams in the playoffs right now. Um, and again, it's going to play itself out. Uh, I love this college football playoffs. Um, I don't want to be like NFL. I never want to be like NFL. I've always wanted to be like this. So never change college football. Never change because it makes every week important. And um, this ain't that but playoff right here. You think these championship games ain't playoffs? These are playoff yeah, games. Oh, yeah. These are playoff games. Clemson wins, you win. Ohio, Oklahoma, you win, you win. Miami wins, they probably get it's it. It's the divisional round right here. Yes, this <laughs> is. This, this is your playoff. So start with the playoff talk. This is your playoff. So, you, hey, let's go out here and do the thing. You get the job, get the job done, and you win, and you move on. So yeah. uh, here we are. Um, mm, yeah, um, if, if, if carry on Johnson is out, that would be a big loss. We'll get more into the matchup itself uh, later on in the show. Maybe and then definitely on Friday, we'll get more into the matchup. Big preview show. Big championship preview show on Friday. Join me then for that. Um, Friday. But the craziness of the college football, you know, Robin weekend started Friday. Right off the bat, I told you people, I told you people for weeks, <laughs> Miami was a damn fraud. I told you for weeks they are a fraud. You didn't want to hear me. You didn't want to believe me. They have – they lead the nation in turnovers, like 27. That is, like, astronomical. That yeah. is that is an epiphany. That is something that does not happen. It's not sustainable. What's sustainable is having a running game and a competent quarterback, which they have neither. Exactly. Um, the quarterback led the team in rushing the other day against Pittsburgh. I think he had 31 yards. He was 15 and 34 passes. He was god off. Mark Rick pulled him. Um, I was not surprised they lost to Pittsburgh at all. They haven't been on the road. All their big wins, if you look, have been at home. I've told you winning on the road in college football Man. is the toughest thing to do 
in sports. Exactly. It's not professional because you got 18 to 22 year old kids. They just they they wired differently. They feel comfortable at home. They feel out more momentum at home. It's just the toughest thing to do. That's why I value Clemson so highly. That's why I value Oklahoma because they had the <laughs> best road win. Clemson had a ton of good road wins. Yes. I mean, go and, and, and they won the road. They have dominated. Yes. They ain't just go in the road and just beat their opponent. They had one the road and just oh, yes. crushed them like they were if they were at home. You know, so road wins are huge. So that's why I think so highly of Clemson and our, our Oklahoma at this point. Uh, but your thoughts on Miami and Pittsburgh? My, if you don't know, Pitt. Defeated Miami 24-14 uh, um, Friday. So um, Pittsburgh is a it's a good team. Not to take nothing from them or anything like that. Not to say anything bad to them, but Miami is what we thought they were. You mm-hmm. know, it just mm-hmm. it just took. Mm-hmm. No, it's you know, I knew sooner or later the quarterback would you know I knew he would you know what I'm saying be that guy. Yeah. And the schools up. I I knew it. I knew it was going to happen. No running game. Uh, when your quarterback is your leading rusher, I mean, I mean, come on, that, that, it, that's the recipe to fail, right? <laughs> Every you know, time. So, I mean, unless you Cam Newton or you know one of these, you know, running quarterbacks. I mean, you, you're doing the fail. Um, but I, and I, I just I seen it coming. I mean, I, I ain't gonna say I seen it coming against Pittsburgh, but I just knew sooner or later Miami just. They got away with too much. They got away with too much this year. I, I, the turnovers yeah. are an anomaly. Exactly. They, 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 they like turn, it's like 26 turnovers. That's like just unheard of. Like 26 turnovers. <laughs> um, so that's not sustainable. Exactly. Um, I, I, it was on Wednesday. I told John, I said, do not be surprised they lose to Pitt. It's going <laughs> to be cold. It's going to be early. It's a road game. And that's a physical Friday. team right there. Yes. Yeah, this bird is a physical team. <laughs> I, 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 and I said, like I said again, they were 4 15 on third down. They had only 200 yards with the total offense. That is a recipe for an absolute disaster. And regardless of whether they had to be Pitt this week, last week, they're going to get their door blown off on Saturday. And you can put that shit in the paint. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Clips and go. Ram rod them. I'm saying. Oh, you think it's, it's about to be upside yeah. down. Right? The L chain, the L chain <laughs> coming out now. I promise. Oh, yeah. So <laughs> let's move on to the other, the biggest game of the weekend, which had every kind of implication SEC championship implication, oh, playoff, now championship implication, all of that on the line. Uh, Bama traveled to, um, to the uh, planes, they go to Auburn, and, and I picked Auburn to win this game. A co host D, who's here, and I picked Auburn to get a season to win this game. Um, they just look like the most complete team in the country right now. Um, and this, I told people this game would come down to the quarterbacks. Um, the fact of the matter is this. Auburn was able to run a little bit on Bama. Bama ran it some, but you were not one of the game when your quarterback throws for 177 yards and only 3 of 11 on third downs. You're not going to okay. win. you got to have a competent quarterback who can throw the ball down the field and make you respect the passing game. I knew Jerry Stillman at this point is a better option. He's 16 TDs to four picks. He may be better now after this game. I hadn't looked yet. But he was solid, 21-28, 237. And he had 51 yards rushing and a touchdown, which was huge. He was able to use his legs. So I, I just thought Auburn was the clearly better team. They just dominated Alabama in every phase of the game. Yeah. Defense, offense, and they got a great kill because this team looks to be the real deal. Thoughts on Bama or Auburn? Oh, man. I, you know what? Coming into the week, I told everybody Auburn was going to be that team to beat, you know, to dethrone Alabama, man. Um, now, I, I love Alabama. I, you know, I'm a fan of the SEC, fast, big guys, you know what I'm saying, smash my playing hard. But Auburn, them guys, like, like you said, all favors of all offense, defense. So it's thing, they are, like, clicking. They are rolling. You can throw away <laughs> those two losses early in the season out the window. Honestly, if they was to play Clemson right now, <laughs> I won't see it. <laughs> it, 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 it is going to be a totally different game. Like, you know, it just – them guys from – I mean, the quarterback alone. Uh, how, how you pronounce his name? Who, oh, Jerry Stenham? Stenham? Stenham. Stenham, Stenham okay. Stenham, that, that kid there, he, he, he played the right recipe to be, you know, uh, Absolutely. Uh, Alabama. I mean, being a, a running quarterback – you know, 51 yards, some of y'all might look like 51 yards don't mean nothing, but as that quarterback for him to, 
you know, spend some plays, spend some plays, and get out and get outside the box. You know, and uh, that really like you know had Alabama, you know, the front seven, you know, on some definite on the back of their heels and everything. Because now they get you know, okay, we can't just sit here and just worry about trying to, you know, blitz and get sacks and this and that. We got to make sure we can contain this guy. So, you know, and uh, man, they went out there and they and they did that thing. Jalen Hurts, bad game. Um, I know sooner or later because you know the last few weeks, you know he, you know he hasn't he hasn't really got in that game yet. He's not. I, I, I don't think he's capable of having that game. Yeah. And by, and by that game, you mean he got to throw it and run it because the team like Auburn and Clemson and all these good teams, they're not gonna let you sit there and just run the ball. And like I say, Bama had moments because they're so good, they would get a couple runs off. Yeah. But at the end of the day, your quarterback cannot throw for one seventy-seven. He's not gonna be the quality defense like Auburn. And three four well, eleven on third three, down. Four, 11 on third down yes, which man. means. Which means you're on the field a lot because Auburn went nine of eighteen, so they kept extending drives. Yes. So while you're not on the field, um, Auburn had the ball for thirty six minutes. That is a recipe <laughs> for disaster. <laughs> yeah. Your defense cannot be on the field <laughs> for that long. If damn, you got eighty five bells, your defense can't do. Don't argue with that. <laughs> do not that. argue with that. Uh, well, I just thought with a complete victory. Um, I mean, I, like I say, I hate you know we we pick Auburn. I mean. I mean, I talked my guest host into it, but I I saw this coming. They yeah. they I, the game they lost. I said they lose to Clemson, they will lose to LSU, and then they, by this time they get this point, Jerry still won't be comfortable. He had been here this long, and Carry On Johnson is an absolute beast. Uh, and they got some weapons. They create yeah. Myers. They got some guys on the outside. The defense is grown man defense. They got yes. some guys. Yes. They got they got some guys. They gonna play on Sunday in that front seven. Yeah. They they are, <laughs> they are men, yeah. and they just mad how the and Maul Pamela. So uh big win by the uh Tigers. Like you say, I I I know we're gonna have ourselves, but I wanna see Arvin Eclipse on the field. Yes. <laughs> I wanna see yeah. it now. It, 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 that's definitely gonna be a whole different story. Like, I wanna see you it. You know, now. you know, last few weeks, you know, I I'm a fan of Clemson Front Seven, but they have had their moments, you know what I'm saying? You no, know, they're not big you no know, run plays and stuff like that here and there. And uh with a team like Auburn, the way they playing now, give them any, give them any kind of room. And you know, I'm not gonna say you're gonna take it to the house, but you're gonna make it regret. I like it. Um, <laughs> let's move yeah. on to the to the, you know the biggest game in this state, uh, Clemson and Carolina. And uh, once again, um, I've been saying this: Clemson is light, light years ahead of South Carolina. Oh, yeah. and for anybody who's thinking otherwise, you need to go look in the mirror because. If you thought that Carolina had a chance to beat Clemson, then you haven't been watching football for the last four or five years. Clemson on a talent level is way too be- is way better. Uh, they play on way more developed. Uh, the talent gap is huge, ginormous yes. talent gap. Yes. Um, so you know Clemson going to do what they did. Thirty four ten could have been a lot worse. I would, you know, I wish they had ran a score because of what how the Carolina fans acted. What a disgraceful! Yes. Oh, man. What an absolute. Yeah. Per- Pathetic and disgraceful fan base. Uh, really? The game counts that turned out to be. I mean, just throwing stuff on the field. F you dabble chance throughout. The state. Just disgraceful. I thought they would run it up. They, they It was 34 now. They let them score 10 points. But um, they had 469 yards total all fit. Kelly Bryant played his best game in a long time. They got the vertical passing game involved. T. Higgins made an appearance. If you don't know who T. Higgins is, watch the tape. That <laughs> true talent, one of the most talented true freshmen in the country. But Clemson, oh, just way, just a superior, superior program in Carolina right now. Your thoughts on Clemson, Carolina? You just said it. <laughs> they are so much superior than, than Carolina right now. Uh, just to, if, I, I mean, I'm really, I'm really, really impressed with Dabo. I, you know, even though he's a foe in the ACC, right? You know, but you have to be impressed every year that his recruiting is just on point. That's the one thing that Carolina have don't have right now. They don't have the talent level. They do not have the talent level. If I, I mean, coming this weekend, no, you're wrong. The attitude and personality of Carolina's quarterback Jake Bell, I love it. Yeah, but your play got too matchy. You can't match <laughs> let, let me say to hit to hit, hit on that point. I'm not sure Jake Bell would even start would even be the third string quarterback at Clemson. That's how much talent Clemson has yeah. on the roster right now. I'm not even sure that guy even starts. I'm not even sure he's a quarterback at Clemson right now. 
That's how much he, the talent got there. He, he, he might, he might, you know, better, you know, punt the ball or something like that, you know what I'm saying? Or, or be a kicker or something like at Clemson, but that's as far as, I mean, it's, Clemson has too many weapons, too many athletes, yeah. like, it's like, I mean, it's ridiculous. I mean, it's just ridiculous. That I got to give Dabo his props on this. Ten straight, seven, seven straight, ten win seasons. Um, hey. I told you that you know uh, earlier this year they don't want they gonna they they are about to take on one of those Alabama type runs. Right. They, have, they are the premier program in college football. They about to take on one of those runs where you they're in the playoffs where they're in the tension of contention like the next four five years. Mm-hmm. They, the talent levels is pumping in. Yeah. And what I like about them, they develop their talent. They're not just getting it. They develop in their talent. The quarterback, is, there's no drop off. Uh, it's I, it's just. You know I, I, and I, I love the way, like you said, develop. Like the way they take care of Caleb Bryant. Like they haven't, you know, up until now, you know, they really had never, you know, they kind of had, you know, had kind of had to, you know. They, the the reins on. They didn't, yeah. they, didn't, they didn't open it up. They didn't have to. Exactly. And now, you know, it's like he's really developing. He's coming to his own. And, uh, Man, you know, Clemson got to watch out for him. But like I, like I said, I mean, other than that, like you know, the only team right now I see that is a legitimate threat is that team that they beat. <laughs> you know, yeah. all, you know. But other than that, Clemson playing ball, man. Right? And, and you know, Ralph, why don't point Bronson Jenkins and how does Kelly Bryant project in the NFL? I know he's young, but thoughts. Um, I need to see more. Um, he definitely has to develop in the passing game. Physically, he has all the – physically, he has the tools. Yeah. Uh, now, he, his first year started and playing, um, he comes from a spread system, which doesn't always translate well to the league because um, you only have – you got one read and then you're taking off or you're taking it down or whatever. But I need to see more, especially the vertical passing game. Um, got the physical tools, can run it, of course. Uh, I think he's smart enough. Um, it's mobile enough, and which is, you know, what today's quarterback has to be able to move. Um, the better right. quarterback today to lead, all can move. They don't, they don't just stand in the pocket, but you also have to be able to process information um, and come off reads and go through your progression. I need to see more. Uh, it's really hard for me to judge all so far. Now, these next few games, when he gets challenged, when people start loading the box or taking away the run, can he beat teams with his arms, really good teams, process his information, Make these big time interfere type throws, and then I have a better evaluation. Right now, like my guy said, they haven't asked him to do a whole lot of that. Um, he struggled at times doing it, but they haven't asked him to do a lot. Like I said, the Carolina game, I'll, I'll enjoy seeing him throw the ball down the field, go vertical, do some different types of things. But I need to see more before I can make him an honest assessment about him in the league. Um, you have a thought on his. I totally agree with everything you said. Uh... Like you said, he, he, you know, it's too early. You know, next couple of weeks, next few games will definitely tell what kind of, you know, what quarterback, you know, Caleb Brown really is. If I honestly, if I have to, you know, <laughs> but uh, if I had to say right now, I will project projecting the NFL. I would say he would, he wouldn't even be a quarterback. I think he would honestly be a wide receiver just because. You know, his, you know, him being baby the move, um, the size, the size exactly. Um, don't know what his hands are like, but you know, just with his, you know, his speed and you know, saying his mobility and everything like that, I can definitely see him being a wide receiver. That's a good point, and you know, these next couple of games gonna decide, you know, should tell you a lot about that because I'm with you because I don't want a situation where if if you uh if you struggle a little bit. Should you, you know, because you got you got the big time quarterback coming in next year. You got Hunter Johnson on the roster, and if you struggle down the stretch and you don't see yourself as that, do you go ahead and make the change while you're still in college instead of you playing another year at quarterback? Then making the change, which is gonna be a lot difficult if you just go ahead and make the change. Yeah, I've been seeing. So that's something you have to evaluate. But if I see him dominate, Braxton Miller did that, didn't he? Braxton Miller played. He went to receive his last year at Ohio State. State. And it makes the chances easier to where prior play the whole time at Ohio State as a quarterback, then with receiver. Took him a few years to get it, but then he took it to at this receiver. But I think that these games are huge because if I see him make those type of NFL throws and, and get these good defense, because now he's about to get serious. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and, 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 even though Miami's bad offense, they got really good defense. Yeah. 
So I want to see him make tight window throws. When he get to the playoffs, I want to see him get to Auburn with the tight window throws. And maybe an Alabama matchup might come in there. Wisconsin, yeah. gonna, they, they make it tough on you on the outside to make tight window NFL type throws. So I want to see him in the next few weeks if I can make a projection on the NFL. But I know if you're going to make that move to receiver, you need to make it sooner rather than later yeah. because you need to go ahead and start to dump yourself because you only have one year left in school. Yeah. And, you know, you want to make more money, make some money as you can possibly make. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, and be able to, I agree with you. And if these next few games need to determine that. <laughs> so, so, go ahead. And if it's not going to work out now at quarterback, yes. go ahead and just go straight yes. to I mean, think about it. I mean, he can definitely be an early help because, I mean, you got Kane. Or, this is last year, ain't it? Yeah. Yeah, I can't so you know they definitely you know will need the help. So it, hey, get it something to think about. I'm, I I won't say help, but I see your point. They, they can get no depth because they got some guys. Yeah. <laughs> they got some guys. But you, this guy's a freak. Now yeah. this this guy's a freak. Yeah. This six five. This guy's six I mean, This guy's a got, freak. You know you can do it. But see, my thing with Kelly, you can do a lot of things. Well. Yes. You know, so he, I mean, you can fit him. Yeah, you, they might just put him back there, you know what I'm saying, beside the quarterback or, you know, on certain you plays. Do, yeah, you can do a lot of tricks. I, know, with him, do a lot of I, I want to him, if you're making that move, go ahead so you can learn the position. Yeah. Learn how to do a route, run a route tree so you can have your value go up to the NFL the GMs. So they see you out there running routes and being Chris, you know, got a chance. I mean, it's not a knock. I'm just saying we, we want to see you in these next few weeks. And then if you play well enough, like, well, let's, let's watch another season. Let's see what he do next season. Do he, let's, let's see does he progress enough. So mm-hmm. we shall see what Kelly B. You know we root for our home team. I don't, I don't know the no team of Florida Gators, but I root for Kelly Bryant to do good because he can count all. So I'm going to be honest. <laughs> I'm completely, I'm not completely unbiased about that at all. I love Kelly Bryant. You know? I got to love him. Yeah. <laughs> that's just, don't know what happened. That's disrespect. <laughs> yeah, disrespect. I mean, I, they, they thought I didn't like him or, 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 or Montavious either. Like, I yeah. love these guys. I love to get out, but I like to be honest and get a fair assessment of these guys. I know them personally, but I got to be fair and objective when I, dis- when I discuss them in any form that I do. Otherwise, I would be doing them a disservice. Yeah. And I don't want to be doing my disservice at all. So, yeah. Yeah, the chill just coming just in. Well, that's that's your that's your uh, kind of ball. We'll get more, and like I said, we'll touch on some of the matchups. But um, NFL, um, the biggest game of the week was the Rams, um, Saints. Oh, um, Saints travel to LA. Jared Goff played out of his damn mind yesterday. Twenty-eight of forty-three for three fifty-four and two TDs. Cooper Cup had a hundred sixteen yard receiving. Um, I thought it was a solid overall performance by the Rams. Um. Saints did some good things, but they hold the Saints to 20 points. Uh, defense done to come around. Rams, hey, you know, they was in my power ranking last week. They'll move up again this week. They'll probably overjump the Saints, obviously, because they beat them. So, um, that's not much going on. Rams, Saints, did you catch any of the Rams, Saints? Or? Oh, I did. Um, I was impressed. Rams, after, you know, the last few weeks, I was wondering how they would respond with against a team like the Saints, who has been playing, like, lights nice. out. And, um, they, they they responded. You know, Jared Goss is like, damn, if this dude, like, can we say, like, MVP candidate right now? Um, right. I mean, <laughs> yeah, he could be in that conversation. I mean, I mean he could be in that conversation. I mean, damn, like, this guy is like, this is not the same guy from last year. Absolutely not. <laughs> That's why I, I, I have to give that head coach, the young guy. I, I, I can't remember his name. Sean McVay. Sean McVay. I call him the young guy. But, <laughs> he, <laughs> hey, that dude there, man. He has done. He, I think honestly, he's the coach of the year right now. Honestly, oh, yeah, that, no doubt. He's the coach of the year because this guy is. I mean, to take Jared Goff looking like he was last year, he, you know, he, he he's doing good. Go ahead, go ahead. But you know, um, at the same time, Jared Goff is <coughs> having a, uh, an incredible season right now. Uh, but you know, I hate it for the Saints because I. Saints is right now one of my favorite teams to watch. When you when Drew Brees don't have to throw the ball more than twenty times, it's, it's, you know, you're doing something in that running game real good. Camara is like one of my favorite players. Love right him, love that, love that dude is like, love him. Oh my goodness, I love, love him. watching this dude. <laughs> I, I mean, it's 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 ridiculous how the guy can run the ball so well, catch out of the backfield so well, and once he get in open space, it's a wrap. I mean, you know, you might catch a shoe screen, but that's it. I mean, the guy is just, I, 
I enjoy watching them. Absolutely. Oh, but um, the comment about um uh, him being like that, I'm not buying it. Now you take any one of your, you take anybody's great running back, it's gonna take a step back. But what the what the, the Rams have, the Cowboys have, they have playmakers all over the field. Yes, they got dudes. Dan can get Rod, open. Dan Rod can't get open for nothing. He would jump Jason, over you, but you can't get open. <laughs> Jason Witten is 57 years old. Cole Beasley is just a little slot guy. Chad Wim ain't consistently catching the football. Bryce Butler is Bryce Butler. The Rams have dudes, okay? Cooper Cup is an absolute stud. Sammy Watkins, Robert Woods. I mean, they got guys. So <laughs> now they might fall back a little bit, but you saying they go back like that? I just told you. Gurley only had about 60, 77 yards yesterday to uh, Russia. And this guy still put up 354 against a really, really good Saints defense who has yeah. been really good. Now, good. I will <laughs> say, though, the Saints had two of their best quarterbacks out. That happened. But the same Jared Goff was like that press guy, and he lost. No, um, no, 28 or 43. Oh, it looked like that. <laughs> Hell no, like that press guy. Hell no, he was like that no. press guy. That press guy is who we thought he was. People overvalued that press guy last year, uh, but were not looking deep into the numbers. Zeke controlled the, the game. game exactly. The office line was, I hope they played a lot better than they did or they are this year. They ran the ball. They were averaging about five, six yards a carry on first down, yeah. second and four, third and two. I mean, that's easy convert. That's easy conversion ratio. Now you look at them, 38, 39. And now that is looking like the guy that we all thought he was. Oh. He's he's a above average quarterback, no question about it. Maybe even too good, but he ain't a lead. He yeah. ain't great. He is who I thought he was when I was it. But um, that's not the quarterback. <laughs> to say, but to say, Derek Golf is uh would fall off like that. And Todd Gurley got hurt. I mean, you will step back. I mean, you lose Todd Gurley. I mean, I mean, the guy's outstanding. Yeah. Um, moving along. Oh, well, you know what? Let me get out the clue for this trivia question. Why I'm thinking about it. Um, tonight trivia question. Same one from the other day. Since no one answered. Uh, twenty dollar gift card to Sam's or Walmart. Sam Cole or Walmart. The trivia question is. Who was the first ever BCS national champion? And I need you to name the team who won it, obviously, and the team that, that they defeated in that game. So who was the first ever BCS national champion? Lines are not open to answer the trivia question. 864-378-5943. 378-5943. Again, 378-5943. Uh, trivia question. Who was the first ever BCS national champion, and who did they defeat? Uh, moving along on Sunday, Eagles win their ninth straight game. Uh, they destroyed the Bears 24-3, Carson Wentz. I'm running out of superlatives. Three TDs. Uh, LeGarrette Blunt had 97 yards rushing. Zach Ertz caught 10 passes for 100 yards. Uh, they just looked like. The real deal. Clearly the best team in the NFL. I mean, in the NFC. I ain't going to say the NFL. Even though they had, even though they had the best record, um, they're the best team in the NFC. Um, Cross and West get better and better each week. They they just look the part. Um, <laughs> I don't know how you go about beating this team if Wentz is going to play like the way he's playing right now. <laughs> 28 yeah. TV passes. They're only five picks. Uh, they got like the sixth ranked defense in the league. They're like number two or three against the run. So, um, Eagles. You thought about the Eagles? Is this this game, or did you talk about the Eagles in general? Man, dude, I thought the Eagles were a joke, you know. But them guys, uh, they 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 are balling right now. Uh, the combination of Blunt and the Jai, oh, that's, that's how you say the name. Right. Them guys, it's it's, it's deadly. And Wentz is like, I mean, MVP candidate right now. I mean, oh, he's, he's, he's the leading front runner, candidate, he's the front runner, man. <laughs> I mean, leading shit, candidate, man. Like, that dude, like, they balling. <laughs> I mean, but honestly, they 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 got they they, they went out there and did what I thought they should they should have done. You know, and that's what good teams do. Exactly. No good teams you're supposed to beat, but you beat them down. They didn't give them a chance. That guy was never in doubt. Exactly. You put the foot on the neck. You know what I'm saying? That's what you're supposed to do. Um, but yeah, they they, they right now I can't. It's hard to. It's hard right now, man. You know, Wins is is uh, he is bothering right now, man. Uh, got, another qu- got another question. Can Wentz handle the playoff pressure? That's an unknown. And you don't know. He, he To me, he's built on the right stuff. Uh, the college he come from, 
It, the, the moment doesn't seem too big for him. Exactly. He, and he's just such a good. I mean, he just he's six good. five, two thirty can move. He got great pocket awareness and presence about him. I don't think it, it releases, will. It releases just unbelievable. Yeah, <laughs> and, but but we don't know when he will be. But do no, I think he had the right makeup? I think his makeup is built for the playoffs. He's just like a guy who likes to play the game. He doesn't get rattled. I don't even hear him talk that much. So. <laughs> I don't say more commercial or anything, so he's he's content to be a guy, even though we give him a lot of praise, he, he deserves it. Um and Marshawn said it, it's just about that action, bro. About that he about that life, man. I mean, I, I, I love him. Let me tell you, I got crossing with some of my fantasy team, so I love him. He's crossing with every week he put me in work. Man, he is my favorite hole right now, man. Hey, I love him. I love him. He's crossing with uh about him in the playoffs? I mean, what sense you feel about him? Man, um, honestly, I, I honestly think, like, you know, you know, everybody knows when it gets cold playoff time, you got to have that running back, the running, the running game going good. I, that is definitely – that is going to take a lot of pressure off of him because not only you have a good running back in the Garrett Blunt, you have another good running back in Ajayi. He got Corey Clement, too. <laughs> he, he get a lot of balls. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So, it's definitely going to be a lot of pressure took him out for Carson Wentz. Either way, he is, I mean, I can't, the guy is like, right now, what, if you could name a flaw out of his game right now, then, you know, I mean, seriously, come on. Like, the dude, like, he he can move. He, he I mean, he got a nice arm, nice relief, nice side, 6'5", 230. Like the guy, I mean, like you said, the, 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 the college, like you said, the college he from, and then just coming to this next level, and I mean, just I mean, he's putting up veteran numbers. Yes. <laughs> um, I just you see him as the type of kid who just you know he just looks like this doesn't bother him. I think he's just humble because, like I say, where he come from. I mean, yeah. Dakota, North Dakota <laughs> State. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> to be the first, you know, second pick in the draft, yeah, it's just it's unbelievable. And he's um, he's playing like. The just second pick in the playoff, <laughs> he just looked like a humble kid. Um, TV Dennis asked, <laughs> is, "Is Black Borders the worst starting quarterback in the NFL?" No, he's not. <laughs> listen, no, no, but listen, what I've been telling you for weeks. You know, I've had Jackson Bill my power ranks, but what have I continuously said throughout the whole process? I do not trust Black Borders. And you cannot win a damn thing with Blake Borders as your quarterback. I'm sorry, but he's not the worst quarterback in the field. Yeah. Uh, we had several candidates for that, but uh, yes. he's not the worst. He's in the bottom third of the do worst you, quarterback. Do you remember Jay Cutler is still in the NFL right now, man? <laughs> <laughs> no, I am going there, man. Deshaun Castle. Exactly. Tom Savage. <laughs> Look at these people. Look at these people I'm naming. And my boy can't get a job. What's the guy? The quarterback that started for y'all last night. What's his name? Oh, Yeah, thanks. He's but but he's asking these words. I mean, it's those guys who burst back. But the fact that about he's going to get more exposed because he's on a really good team and it shows so badly because you are the weakest link. Clearly. And he loves to play in Gabbard. <laughs> How loves, bad is that? He loves to play in Gabbard. Playing Gabbard. I'm just serious. Is that a right joke? <laughs> yeah, he loves to play in Gabbard. Like, play in Gabbard. Play in Gabbard. Soon to be two Jacksonville Jack Wilds rejects. Soon to be two, two Jacksonville Jack Wilds outcast. <laughs> outcast. Are you serious, bro? Out, look, man. Out, let me tell you something, Keith. There's, there's a quarterback that's on the market right now. I don't know if you know this. There's a quarterback on the market right now who's been to a Super Bowl. He's been to two LC championship games. He threw 16 TD passes last year and only four L seven. I'm just saying there's a guy out there. That's all I'm saying. I, I'm just saying. I didn't know. But <laughs> Blake Waters, <laughs> Blake Garrett is soon to be in two chapters. Exactly. Jack Wilder, he's, Jack. Uh, he's bad. And like I say, it just looks more bad because He's going to be exposed. Jacksonville is getting up 15 points a game at one of the best defenses in the league. But when you don't have a competent quarterback, which I keep trying to tell you, you have to have a competent quarterback. I mean, now, how good your defense right. is because there's going to come a day when your defense doesn't have it. It's always going to come a day when your best unit doesn't have it. Can your other unit pick you oh, up? My goodness. Miami and Pittsburgh. That is exactly what happened. <laughs> That's exactly what happened. I mean, it's a perfect example. If Miami had one of the best front sevens out there, one of the best defenses, 
Miami Hurricane, and they played against the Pittsburgh Panthers, and their quarterback, you know, he did not scare pick them up. The defense, they had, and we they got a couple turnovers, which was, was a fluke turnover. They didn't call it. I think, you know, one yeah. was a fumble, drop fumble, whatever. But you can your other unit pick you up when your better unit is not playing. Yeah, that's exactly. what makes a good team. That's why I believe in Auburn so much right now, not to get back off the NFL, but that's why I believe in Auburn so much right now, because I believe that if the offense don't play, I think the defense can pick them up. If the defense don't play it's good, I think the special team can pick them up. They just good at every phase of the game. Exactly. That's what a complete team is. Um, so <laughs> yeah, um, I feel your pain. Um, <laughs> because you have a championship count of defense, but you have a oh, he's a defense. Yeah, player. but you have yeah. trash up on that center, and we all know he's trash. But good news for you is this is last year. I do want to say this, <laughs> uh, as a as a Tennessee Titans fan. Thank y'all for losing. They put us back in the job seat in the <laughs> division. Uh, <laughs> number one. <laughs> no. um, you mentioned the Pittsburgh Steelers. Let's move on to the Pittsburgh Steelers. They played the game last night against um, the lonely Green Bay Packers. They made they made Brett Hunley look like the second coming of Aaron Rodgers. Oh, and goodness. that's why I always tell you, <laughs> I cannot trust a believe in Pittsburgh. They are the Cleveland Cavaliers of the NFL, they play down to their competition, but they're not, you're not that damn good where you just think you can flip the switch and jump when you play these good teams. Because they just played a game last night against a team that was dead in the water. Uh, Brett Hunley, 245, 3 TDs. Um, but Ben played great, but he threw two picks. You can't give extra possessions to any team in this league. Um, I just, Pittsburgh, man, I got my power ranking. They probably be a little further down this week. I just, they so Hollywood. So much damn drama, but it's so talented. Mm-hmm. They just tease you. They tease you. They they just tease you like a like a girl you meet in high school. They just tease you so bad, and it, 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 I get sick of it. It's like you wait for them to do these things, and they, they, they this game should be a blowout. This, this should not be a. They want a fifty-seven yard, a fifty-three yard game with a field goal last night yes. to beat this Green Bay team with Brett Huntley at quarterback. Huntley. No Clay Matthews on defense for the Packers. So just UCLA. I mean, uh-huh. hey, I will say this: it was good to see my man in the end zone last night. Ten was in the end zone last night, so yeah. that was good to see. Good to see ten in the end zone. Juju Smith was out, so take advantage of your opportunity, son, yeah. when you got the chance to. I um, hope, son. Thoughts on this game or just Pittsburgh in general? I, I just don't, I'm sick of Pittsburgh. I am too, even though they just scored up like you know the other week. But uh, cause like like you said, it's like when they, it's like when it comes to certain competition, they, they it's like they play to that they play, they to, play that level. to the level absolutely. And it's like ridiculous. I mean, you do that what? Trust me, you cannot play to the level of New England Patriots. You can't do that. New England is on a whole another you know, atmosphere. Your job is to, you know, play better than them. And right now, New England still my favorite in the AFC. Oh you know God, Tom Brady. <laughs> if you ever heard me go on my main crush about this guy, like, I right, look, <laughs> hey, I am a Brady <laughs> fanatic. Clearly, no, you didn't get. You don't have to say anything. Let me. I am a Brady fanatic. You can kiss my A double hockey sticks. So whatever you said, I am a Brady fan. Patriots, and without that guy, I mean. The dude, the dude is and see, that's what it always come back to with Pittsburgh. We we because we always we evaluate them by one thing. Can you are you good enough to beat New England? No. The rest of these teams in the NFC trash. I'm sorry. Is that, I, that is, it's gonna be Pittsburgh and New England again. Can they beat New England? And my you know my answer is emphatic. No. Hell no. Brady's right. ten two against the Pittsburgh Steelers. Um, they play next week. They play this coming Sunday, um, which is a regular season game, and Pittsburgh might just beat them. <laughs> but it won't be a damn thing. But yeah. the point is, um, I just can't trust this football team. Uh-huh. And Joe Hayden, that injury, Joe Hayden, is huge. They mm-hmm. got caught <laughs> up last night. I, I do want to say this. With Hutton, it seems like from his first start to now, he gets better every every week. Um, he's getting better. I'm not spectacular, but he's getting better. That's but, that's the whole point. He looked terrible the week before that, and they just made him look. He threw two, three picks the week before that. They made him look like the second coming of damn Aaron Rodgers. Uh, but Pittsburgh, New England this week, huge game. Can, can I answer this one first? Can I answer this Hold one? up, hold up, hold up. Um, do you see a scenario? Because this, this has got a scenario. Can you see a scenario to how Ohio State can get in the playoffs? I can't. Can you see a no. scenario? No. I, I can't see a scenario. Uh, other chaos. Hey, I got love for you. 
there's no possible way they're gonna get in that playoff, man. Uh, by them winning the, uh, the Big Ten, it's not gonna change anything. Um, I just, I mean, because you got, I mean, you got to think about it. You got Clemson who's gonna win. Yes. Um, Oklahoma's gonna win. Yes. Auburn's gonna win. Are you? Because either Auburn's gonna win. It's three teams right there. Three teams right there. And then you got to think about it. Um, if if what Alabama's right now. Alabama, Alabama gets in over. Exactly. Over, 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 um, and West Coast will automatically win. So they, I can't see a scenario. Exactly. Oh, uh, <laughs> I just don't see it happen. Um, uh, I just can't see it happen. Now, um. Bama, Bama gets in if Ohio State beats Wisconsin. Yeah. I think Bama gets in one loss. Uh, Ohio State got two losses, and we can never forget. And like I said, I don't do bad. That's a good loss, but you got two. Yes. Two, two is more than one. Um, so I can't see a scenario how Ohio State can get in there. No kind of way. The, the, the answer to your question, Hood, is Georgia going to beat Auburn or whatever? Because, <laughs> like, I'm just going to say this, look, man. <laughs> if they – if if I'm going to the record. I'm going to go ahead and – Put this out there. If Georgia beat Auburn this time, which everybody knows it's hard to beat a team twice in one season. It is. It's very hard. But that's how confident I am in Auburn. <laughs> yeah. um, if Georgia beats Auburn, I will quit smoking cigarettes. <laughs> I'm putting it out there right now. And everybody that knows me, I'm a smoker. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Georgia beats oh. Auburn, I'm quitting smoking. <laughs> that, that is on live. He's out there. That's out there. He can't even go back on his word. Hey, look, I think this chance has significant increase because if Carrie Ann Johnson cannot play, that is the lifeblood of Auburn on offense. Yes. But again, I think they are so complete that they can pick each other <laughs> up. I pick Jerry Stenham over Jake State from every time. Um, mm -hmm. And that's going to come. That's the difference in the game. Again, Auburn going to make John beat them throwing the ball. I'm not ready. Jake Fromm is not ready to do that yet. He's just not. Um, and Auburn is. Uh, hopefully, carry on Johnson playing because it would be a shame he doesn't play. Um, big I, like I, I want him to play because I want Auburn at their best because, you know, I think they are the best team in the country right yes. now. So I, I, I want to see him play. Um, yes, Benny Boy. Yes, Dan Mullen. Damn mother, damn mother would give us back to the top. Yes. Oh, <laughs> uh, my question to both of y'all, how do you beat the Wisconsin Badgers 12 and over the blueprint does not exist? Look, man. Um, again, defensively they are really, really solid football team. Um, they can do some things in the running game. But that quarterback is turnover prone. I think he's thrown 14 picks. Yes. Um he, if you pressure him, he makes bad decisions. There is a blueprint. It does exist. Yeah. Teams have not been able to capitalize on it. Now, you can go out there this week and get Ohio State. You beat them, you in the playoffs. But to say you don't, there's no blueprint to beat, that's not true. Michigan had several chances to put yeah. up some points. They was getting sharp fields over and over and could not score. And that's a credit to your defense. But they are not an offensive juggernaut either. Uh, yeah, I was just about they to... had the ball <laughs> and had multiple opportunities to, to score and could not score. In the second half, you run with the game because again, you wear people down with your running game. Yeah. And if you're and if that offense not moving, that means the defense on the field a lot. And the bitch they're gonna break. But this notion that Wisconsin has no no cracks, that's just absurd. Exactly. But I want to see you go out there and beat Ohio State. I want you to get your chance. I want you to be out there and play the best team in the country. Just touch on what you said about that quarterback. He makes mistakes. You put that pressure on him, he makes mistakes. If I was Ohio State, honestly, I don't care what nobody say. I'm a man to man on everything. And you're going to beat me. Because <laughs> I'm not going to let you run the ball. And the guy's capable of making some throws, but he. I don't think Wisconsin's dynamic enough on the outside. Exactly. They lost their best receiver early. He made it back this week. I'm not sure. But I, they're not dynamic enough on the outside. Once again, I always say you got to be balanced because when somebody takes away your strength, which Ohio State's going to do because they have one of the most talented lines in the country, they're going to contain the run. Uh -huh. They're going to contain it. And it's going to be on that quarterback's arm to win that game. And he's he makes a lot of – he turns the ball away too much for me. Um, I'm going to go ahead and say Ohio State wins. I will get way, um, but Wisconsin, hey, this is this is your chance. Yeah. But I feel like Ohio State have a good chance to beat them, but they, I mean, they really have like 
I mean, no, I, I, and I'm not ready to make a pick, and I, I, I think Wisconsin can beat Ohio State because you know how I am about Ohio State. I don't like JT Barrett, and he was hurt last week. Not sure he's gonna play or not. I like the backup, but again, Ohio State is the more talented team. Uh, they got the D line that can that can that can stall your running game out, and they got guys who can cover on the outside against your receivers. Don't know, but uh, we shall see. But there is no there ain't no such thing. There ain't no blueprint um, because you have it. You know, you know your schedule. You know what your schedule's been. You know what your schedule's been. I, I like the red shirt freshman. I like how um ha, um I think they. I I know it's Haskins because I'm a real recruiter. He's out of Maryland. We recruited him. Uh, he looked good in his when he came in. Uh, he could throw it. He can move too. I'm not a huge fan of JT Bear. The one time they won the national championship, JT Bear was not the starting quarterback. Exactly. So I am I'm not oh, a fan of JT. What the hell is he there? Right he's in the first time on somebody's but um. <laughs> We should, we, we'll get more that, that Friday, huge preview show Friday for the championship games. Nothing we'll good. break all the championship games down on Saturday, uh, Friday, right here on Centennial and Intel. So tune in for that. Yeah. We'll be here Friday for this big uh, uh, okay. preview. All I got to say is JT Berry, look, man, you've been there for about 10 years. You know, man. <laughs> Let somebody else come in and do anything, <laughs> man. Hood, I, I know you ain't like what I'm saying right now, but, but damn. The guy been there for 10 years, man. Stop hopping up all the damn spot, like <laughs> Let's have somebody else to get some sign. They're going to ask them to do something, do yeah. something with it. You know what Absolutely. I'm saying? Maybe bring a, another temperature to Ohio State. Something that JT hadn't actually done. Good combo, man. Good combo, man. Big time, big time. Hey, trivia question again. For the $20 gift card to Sam's Club or Walmart, you can use it either. $20. Who was the first ever BCS national champion? And who did they beat? Um, Who was the first ever? BCS national champion and who did they beat? Um, number eight six four three seven eight five nine four three three seven eight five nine four three. Call in with that. Live's not open for you to call and answer. Say it. Trivia question. Um, don't comment the answer if you got it right now. <laughs> he said JT Barrett is bad for college football. That's right. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Like, we'll be right here, Miles. Championship Saturday. Hey, I ain't leaving my guys. I mean, I think the Big, tw- the Big Ten, Big 12, or the 12 o'clock, and then it just goes all day long. So, championship Saturday, cannot wait. I get out for the 3.30. I'll be there. All right. I'll be there, I, You know me, I have some wings, and we'll be sitting right here on my couch. And you know how we do football Saturday at my house. This is a very important week for college football. Absolutely. Playoff lives will be determined. This. this, this First this, will be granted. Man. This, <laughs> this, 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 this is what – like, this is what, you know, when football season over with, you know, it's going to be hard for me to get this feeling back right now, man. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Part of the soul just leaves you. It do. Even when you bad like we were. <laughs> hey, hey, I don't, it don't even, like, dude, I don't even care. Like, football is football, man. Like, sometimes, like, even when we had, the GTA had our back time, man. You know, football is football, man. You know what I'm saying? It's nothing like just sitting over the fellows and just, you know, and, and, and just, Football, man. You know what I'm saying? The just let it flow. You know, it's, it's, it's fun. It's fun. What? It's, it's fun. fun. <laughs> it's it's fun. fun. Oh man, hey, y'all know you're welcome anytime to come here and hang out with your boy. Uh, that's how we do football Saturdays around here: wings, food, uh, and at the food. You know. So moving along, a um, little college basketball action last night. Uh, two preseason tournaments. Um, preseason tournaments out in Oregon last night. The PK um, 90 tournament. Um, it's two different brackets. One was a victory bracket. And in that bracket, you had Michigan State take on North Carolina Tar Heels and Michigan State uh, defeats North Carolina 63-45 in a game that wasn't really close at all. Um, jo- Joseph Langford had 23 points in the, in the win and win. So Michigan State looked a part of a top-10 team, perhaps top-5. Um, I know early in, this, early in this year, someone called and asked about um, – you know, um, Michigan, is Michigan State better than North Carolina? I think it was the question. I said, absolutely. I mean, Tar has lost a ton of talent, ton of senior leadership. Um, hey, got a call, maybe call to answer the question. Call it where you call it from and what's your name? No, it's What's up, man? You got a question, a comment, or are you trying to answer this trivia question? Man, I'm trying to answer the trivia question. What's up? First ever. First ever BCS national champion. Tennessee. That's correct. Who did they beat? Sorry, I know. 
There it is. T. Martin and the Tennessee Volunteers. The year after Peyton Manning beat the Florida State Seminoles. Good job. All right, appreciate it. All right, man. Yeah. Well, we have a winner of this $20 gift card. No one can now officially call and get this. You had your chance. Don't say I didn't warn you. <laughs> so, uh, Key, you didn't warn the gift card. It was Tennessee over Florida State in 1998, which is the actual football season. They played the game in 99. So, uh, hey, man, you can get that. Hey, he, he, he liable to be here the weekend. He never know that guy. So, he might, <laughs> he might be here. Who y'all think is going to win the national championship? Um, I would rather wait for the field to be set so I can see who playing who where. Uh, if I had to guess right now, I would, in the game, I would say Auburn versus Clemson. Um, Auburn versus Clemson. <laughs> that would be interesting yeah. to me. Tiger versus really? Tiger. <laughs> um, I, ugh, don't hold this to me. Uh, I can change my mind immediately. Um, but if you ask the question, right now I would go with Auburn over Clemson in the National Championship game. What say you? <laughs> mm, that's what I'm talking about. Ah! That's exactly what I'm talking about. I'm going with Auburn too. Right now, like, like we said earlier, it's hard to beat a team twice in one season once. Everybody figures out, you know, your game plan and stuff like that. And just Auburn is clicking on all seven. All seven. I mean, like, if y'all, like, you can't be that stupid not to realize, like, yeah, they, they lost two games, but this team is, like, the best team out here right now. They are clicking. Um, Kelly, I mean. No, no. Y'all just, just go and then come yeah, back. <laughs> but yeah, man, but yeah. Um, you just get the whole house it, Some of the stuff that it, it, I see is just like. You got to finish the thought, then it comes back to it. <laughs> but, but yeah, man. Um, man, they, they, all right now is like. I mean, from the offense, special team defense, they play, they click on the all of a I just, right now, I can't see, like, Clemson at times, I feel like Kelly, he kind of struggles a little bit at the quarter position. I like, I like Kelly, but, um, man, right now, if I had to pick, it would definitely be Auburn. Definitely. Hands down. Yeah, that's what I picked. So, um, Kelly Bryant from Maxwell War, I mean, he hasn't done enough. I mean, yeah, it's just you gotta put this. This is stats. You gotta be up. You got stats. He, he don't have the stats. He don't have the passing yards to be missing in those yeah. in those types of categories. But hey, at the end of the day, you got number two, uh, number one team in the country by tomorrow by the playoff rankings. You got one loss in the game that you did lose. You didn't finish. Uh, you on the you on the best. You definitely on one of the top two teams in the country. So. Hey, you can't be mad at life. Yeah, the awards don't mean you know they ain't they ain't the most important thing. You like to have awards and the team team uh comfort, team of uh, accomplishments, but he, didn't have, he just don't have the numbers. I mean, he just he just doesn't have the numbers, especially passing. Just don't have the numbers to get those kind of awards. You look at some players like Baker Mayfield and and then Mason Rudolph with the kind of number there. I mean, they put up video game type numbers, <laughs> four TD passes, four thousand yards. I mean, Kenneth got with. I don't know how exactly how many yards he got. Probably over two thousand, a little over two thousand or so. Yeah. Um, not many TD passes at all. Oh, so I don't, I don't know where I'm hand, but I, you know, you're not gonna get, you're not gonna get a lot of consideration when you, um, uh, when you're not putting up numbers. Not without Johnson. Uh, yeah, Kerry Ellen Johnson is hurt. Then all bets are off because he's the lifeline of Auburn. Absolutely. If he's not playing against Georgia, they will struggle to beat Georgia. But I think they're just significantly better than Georgia. But you're right. If they play Clemson or Alabama or even a Wisconsin, maybe Oklahoma without carry on Johnson, they probably wouldn't win the game. But uh, if they healthy and whole, that, 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 <laughs> that, he said stats better than Jalen Hurt. Jalen Hurt shouldn't be on that Maxwell Award list either. I yeah, hope he's on that Maxwell Award list. Huh, come on. <laughs> I am disappointing you right and now. If he on it, and he may be, because he's some that's some damn fools out there, but I, that don't mean we agree. That there's no way that hell Jalen Hurt should be on any Maxwell or David O'Brien list. No way in hell. So no, he shouldn't be on that list either. Neither one of those guys should be on that list. Um, you know, um I guess we'll think of a few more seconds, but we, we, we was trying to begin this we not the show, but we had a message at the beginning of the program tonight um, before we were supposed to come on the air. And I guess we'll reiterate a little bit before we get off the air, man. We just we just 
we're just tired of hearing all this about all this violence and people being killed here lately. Um, it's just sad. Um, we got to do a better job in the community, um, teaching our young men to be better than us. Um, I challenge all my young men out there who are fathers, man, be there. We are the biggest influence on men and boys. We 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 gotta show them a better way. Um, hashtag put down the guns. Um, we you know trying to be a tough guy for your buddies and your friends, and and, and at the end of the day, you're ruining two different lives, two different family lives. The person that you, you kill life, you ruin your family. Um, you going away. Um, so we got to get better. We got to do better. Um, I know people going to get mad at me. But like I say, I'm I'm just so tired of seeing prayers and uh, we got to pray. And I, I, I'm tired of seeing that we got to start doing. We got to start doing. Uh, prayer can only do so much. You can pray and then sit back and do nothing and kick the can down the street. Or you can go out and do something. and. Um, Make a make a positive impact in the community, uh, cause I'm I'm tired of seeing these young young guys being shot down in their twenties, yeah. over foolery, senseless over foolishness um, that can be avoided. Um, that 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 don't even have to even go that route, you know. Um, I let you share a few words before I come back. Uh, man, it's accountability is really has to. We, we really like, you know what I'm saying? We ha really have to start, you know what I'm saying? Being accountable for our actions now. Um, uh, it's to the point where we can't be sitting there and pointing the finger at uh, the police out here killing, doing this and that. Look, man, they was doing that back in the 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s. It's, it's going to continue. The one thing we got to stop is killing each other because, like, we, like, I mean, we keep, the, the rate we going, man, we ain't, it's not going to be too much, many of us, are, and it is. They got 13% of the population. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? And that number is, small, small number, it's going to continue to drop, man, you know. And the thing about it is, like, the thing that gets me is what you guys out here, like, like, you know, if you don't like somebody, Look, say what you got to say. If you're not going to bang it out, let it ride, man. You know what I'm saying? Don't say nothing to each other. Don't, y'all don't need to be around each other. It is what it is. But the, the whole gun, that's like, you know what I'm saying? You know, a mother, a child's mother is out there crying for my child. You know, their child, sister, or brother. You know, they don't have their siblings in the moment. I mean, and this guy, and we talking about kids, man, because these guys are younger than me. Kids. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm damn near a baby my damn self, man. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, it, it's sad, man. We got to do better, man. You know what I'm saying? It's like you said, we can't be sitting here always saying prayers. Okay. You know, we can't. You know, and I'm sick. Of, and, and, you know, you know what? If people are gonna be mad at you, so be it. But I'm about sick and tired myself because it's always, you know, people always think that they, they mouth their words or you know what can change anything. You got to get up out your butt and get off of this Facebook at times and stuff about all these prayers and go out there and making the change. Absolutely, absolutely agree. I couldn't agree more, man. It's just sad. Like I said, that young man, I like him. I uh, knew him a little bit. And he um, personally asked me, hey, man, add me so I can watch the show. And then I would see him come up down the street and they would be up there. So, I mean, but um, it's just sad. Um, it could have been avoided. It's just senseless. It's just, I'm, I'm getting tired of having, I'm tired of it. Like, this is like the third or fourth straight year. Somebody has got shot and killed. A young guy had got shot and killed yeah. over just, Nonsense. Yeah, man. Just nonsense, nonsense, man. We gotta be better than that. We gotta do better. We gotta be better. And we gotta stop saying we just gonna pray. We gotta start doing yeah. it. And I, I told you, I challenge all my black my black fathers out there, man, black males, we gotta do a better job of being a positive influence on our and our youth, man. Because they they learning stuff from the wrong people and yeah. it's picking it up from the wrong people. That's not how you handle things. That's not how you solve issues, man. You go to a man face to face. You hash out the differences. You figure out what's wrong. If you can't, you go out of the yard. You strap it up. You put your hand on each other. And at the end of the day, you respect each other. And you walk away. And we, nobody got killed. Exactly. Hey, man. Nobody died. And see, that's another, and that's the big thing, like man. You know, this has been going on in my city for about the past. You know what I'm saying? Like, like that's 10, 15 years. Like you know, 
this is getting ridiculous, man. Now it's like, you know, it's like when all this stuff was going on back then, you know, it was guys my age and stuff that, that was like getting killed and everything like that. Now it's the guys that I remember that were running around in the pamphlets and stuff, man. And it was like, like kids, man. So, you know, and like, you know, these guys like y'all, you know, the ones out there doing the shooting, you know, at the same time, you know, you got people out here that love y'all, man. You know what I'm saying? There are people out here that want to see y'all do good, but, you know, you got to sit there and, and think before you do. You know what I'm saying? Because you know, that one decision can yes. sit there and can change not only your life, but millions of others, man. You know what I'm saying? And, like, you know, it's crazy because it's like now we got, like, three different towns mourning at one time, man. It shouldn't be like that. So, yeah, should be like you know, that. it should never be like that. But so one thing for sure, I mean, everybody, we need to come together, lock on, and just, you know, like you said, like, no more of the talking. We got to go out there and make the change happen. Every day, every day, you know, it's a sports show. But um, it'll be times where, you know, things are way more bigger than sports. This is old time where we got to address those issues that we have. And um, I felt like I want to open the show, but we know we have some technical difficulties. But I, I need those words to be heard. And, and I feel like this is an important thing that needed to be said. Um, this has been, uh, you know, it's been Centel's Intel, man. We talked some sports, we had some fun, we had some lands, but we also talked some serious issues. Um, like I say, I just um, tell, hope the family knows that we're thinking about them and hopefully they can just somehow get through this ordeal. Um, I don't know how you do that, but um, we're here for you, you know, so um, we'll keep you in our thoughts. So. We will be back Friday, Santa's Intel, Championship Preview, 8 o'clock, Championship Preview. I'm hoping that I have a full day. I'm looking. I hope we have three guest hosts in up here. We're going to just dive all the entities, college football matchups, stats, breakdown, previews, predictions, all of that, then some. On championships right. on championship Saturday. Yeah, so forward, I'll say man. you got Friday night. Sorry for the technical difficulties. Hopefully it worked out and we don't have any issues on Friday. So I'll see you Friday at eight. This has been Santa's Intel, the hottest sports podcast in the South. The best damn sports podcast, period. I'm your host, the sensational Santa Wilder. You know what it is, the Wizard of Westwood. Westwood, we are out. <laughs>